all I need is you. Need it. Hey everybody, it is Jonesy J here and have another video for you today. I was just finishing up a video, it's probably going to go up the same day as uh, this one, they're probably both going to go up in the next day or so, um, and that video was going over the top 10 books or series that I'm happiest to have on my shelf, so I wanted to do a video about my number one book or series, and that series is the Lux Novels by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I feel like they're very underrated, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about them, um, and like hype them up and I feel like they should be talked about and hyped up. Granted they are an older series. Uh, I started reading them in high school and my high school didn't have all of the books in the series so I never got to finish it and then I saw it at Barnes and Nobles one day and I was like I have to get it so I got it and I just kind of wanted to do like a review type video go over them and if you haven't read them I really really highly suggest you do. I think they are phenomenal um like i said they made it to the number one spot i'm happiest to have on my shelf uh, my favorite books in my collection so yeah i think they're pretty great so we're just gonna dive on in here and talk about them a little bit the series consists of seven books here obsidian onyx opal origin and opposition are the base series as you can see, it's number one, two, three, four, and five. And there is a prequel book called Shadows. Um, like you, as you can see, it says book point five up here. And Oblivion is um, like book one and a half. Oblivion is kind of obsidian, basically, but it's told in the perspective of another person. Now, when I first picked up these books, I did it because of the cover okay I admit it I judged a book by cover and I'm so glad I did I did read the summary as well um I did and I thought it was interesting but I definitely picked it up first because of the cover and on the cover is Damon and Caddy uh, they are the two main characters and another reason one of the reasons I like this series so much is because with some books when they describe the main characters they don't look like the cover art and the models that are on the cover but I really, as I'm reading this, I'm really seeing these people in my mind with the descriptions. So I thought they did a wonderful job with getting people that match the descriptions on the cover. Um, and just a little bit about the book. Before I go over a little bit about what it's about, I just, I got some Twilight vibes here. Okay, I'm going to say it. And I hope that doesn't deter people, but I did get some Twilight vibes when reading this series. However, it's definitely a lot better written than Twilight was. There's definitely a lot more character development, a lot more conflict. I definitely like it so much better. But kind of what happens is Caddy's dad dies and her and her mom move to this small town to start over. And she's not happy about it. She wants to be back with her friends. You know, that sort of thing. And her mom keeps urging her to go out and meet new people, meet new friends. And she is kind of hesitant about it until she meets her neighbors. And Damon is her neighbor. Damon has a sister. And his sister's name is Dee. And she's so nice. Her and Caddy start hanging out. Caddy thinks that Damon is A1 asshole type. But very attractive. Well, comes to find out, Mr. Damon and his sister are aliens. I know what you're thinking, aliens, really aliens, but it's so good. It's so amazing. And how, how this is like working out is the FBI keep tags um, on these aliens that are coming to Earth. Uh, there's like a whole community of them and basically what happens is humans and aliens are not allowed to you know be together per se they're allowed to be together but the humans aren't supposed to know that the aliens exist because you know it will cause all sorts of problems but she finds out and they fall in love and it's such a gorgeous love story and there's a lot of tension and a lot of 
holy crap, how did that happen, and that sort of thing involved. And basically what it comes down to is alien, more aliens are coming to Earth because they want to take it over and kill the humans. So yeah, that's basically the plot. Um, I know it kind of, now that I'm like talking about it and telling you guys a little bit of what it's about, kind of sounds a little crazy and dumb but i promise you it's not it's amazing this is definitely like five out of five star rating for me it's definitely my favorite series jennifer l armantrout is just amazing i really 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 love her i want to read more of her novels i don't know why i haven't but yeah if you haven't read the lux novels check them out go check them out of your library or buy them just buy them because you're going to read them and love them and then you're going to want to own them so just buy them and i'll just show you each book here um so you can see what they look like this is shadows uh the prequel um now this is actually a plot twist in the middle of book one i believe or two um this is actually damon and d's brother uh they are triplets it's damon d and dawson so this is dawson and this kind of goes over his story and what happened you know to bring about the whole alien on earth type thing what happens in this book with damon and his story is a driving force between the plot and the base series so i would definitely read this definitely um i don't i don't think you should read it first or um I don't think it's going to matter if you don't read it first because I didn't read this first. I didn't even know this was a thing until after I read the whole series. So it's not that big of a deal if you don't read it first, but I would definitely read it. And here's Obsidian. Um, I already showed you that. That is Damon and Caddy. Obsidian is from Caddy's point of view. And in Obsidian, this is where they first meet and this is where they kind of have like a hate relationship. But by the end of it, like they're digging on each other. Okay, this is Oblivion, and like I said, this is the book that's from a different perspective. This is from Damon's perspective. And again, I don't think you need to read this in order. Um, I mean, you should. I wish I would have, but I didn't read it in order. Um, so it's not a big deal if you don't read this right after Obsidian. Onyx is book number two. This is probably my favorite cover out of all of them. This is when you kind of start to feel that things are going a little south um there's definitely a lot of foreshadowing in here that you can see that things are going to turn bad here pretty soon opal is book number three i like this cover too um and it really reflects how close they're getting um how much they've fallen in love which i'm a romance person so i, I really dig that this is the book where they're finding things out and secrets are being revealed and people are showing their true color so this is definitely one of my favorites in the series book number four is origin this is honestly probably my least favorite cover i don't know why it just is this book is a lot of switching back from caddy's perspective and damon's perspective i'm not going to give away too much but in this book he is hunting down and trying to find caddy she was taken uh so there's definitely a lot of tension and tension and suspense. Um, it's a little crazy what happens in this book. It's all building up to the last big bang. So it's definitely, definitely a nail biter, I would say. And the last book is Opposition. And it's just a wonderful wrap up. Um, probably about the first, I don't know two-thirds of it are all the action that's happening and how everything like shit hit the fan and it's getting crazy but the ending is just wonderful when i did the makeup book tag um the question for powder it was what's your favorite ending book in a series and this was what i chose because it just wraps everything up perfectly there's no plot holes there's no wondering what happened to this character what happened to this character uh jennifer l Trout really wraps it up and puts a nice big bow on it perfectly it's just amazing it's not too cliche in my opinion it's just great and that's the series so i really hope that if you haven't read it, I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you do go out and read it. If you have read it, I hope you like it as much as I do. If you have read it, let me know what you think of it down below. 
and yeah that's it today guys so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time